Hey guys, so I'm back with part two. So, you guys, the next time she came to town, stop, child. Oh, my child, yeah. The next time she came to town, she was all happy, like, she was extra happy, like, real happy. I'm like, hey, what's, you know, what's going on with you so happy about? And she's like, well, I'm talking to this dude that I met down here. I'm like, oh, you are? And she's like, yeah. And I was like, well, tell me about him. And honestly, guys, she, it's not like she was trying to tell me everything. Cause I, I can feel like she was holding back. So I was like, uh, well, as long as you're happy, you know what I'm saying? She really didn't give me no details. She was just like, well, I, I like him and this and that. And I was like, okay. So then a week goes by. And see, since the incident had happened with her and my boyfriend, she wasn't allowed to um, spend the night at my house when I had uh Boyfriends, you know what I mean? When I had boyfriends over, I wasn't going to have that happen no more. But we were still friends and everything. I just, it's not that I didn't trust her, but I just, I didn't want, I didn't want her to get tempted. I just, I don't know. I just, mm -mm. So, anywho, the next time I had seen her, was like, it was like a week later, a week or two later. She was all sad and everything. I'm like, what's wrong with you? You and your boyfriend broke up? And she was like, I lost my virginity. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I was excited. I was happy. I was like, oh, okay, good. I was like, give me the details. You know, I like details. And she was like, well, uh, I didn't like it. I was like, oh, I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, you know, sometimes the first time is not so good and everything. But, y'all, she was, like, looking extra sad. So, I'm like, are you okay? What's, like, what's, what's really going on? Was it that bad? You know? And... She's like, he raped me. I was like, he raped you? Y'all, we both started crying. I felt so sad. I felt so bad for her because, you know, it's her first time. And your first time supposed to be special. And being raped on your first time, that's no fun. So I was like, tell me details. You know, I still wanted details. I want to know what happened to him. What did she do? Did she call police? You know, I wanted to know. So she was like, they was walking outside one night to his car. And uh, he raped her. Outside of his car. He didn't even put it in the car, y'all. He raped her up against his car. Outside. Y'all, I was so hot and furious. I was like, so what happened? I was like, did you call the police? Did you beat him up? I'm like, what happened? And she like, she went and uh, told her mom. Told her. She told her whole family and everything. And uh, that's when they went and got the dude because he lived over by them, whatever. By her family, and they went and got the dude. They called the police and everything. Yeah, come to find out, this dude was forty-seven years old, and she wasn't the first person that he done raped that lived over there by them. So you know, it it was man. I was I was so hurt. I was hurt for her, you guys. I was sad. I, I was just I was so emotional. I didn't know what to do. I felt like it was my fault. I was like, you know, if she would have been staying with me. Then it would never happen. And then, I, mean, I just felt really bad and everything. So after that situation, she, you know, of course she didn't want to go hang out. She wasn't, you know, want to go on dates, on double dates. I mean, she didn't want to do anything anymore. And then when I told her that I had a boyfriend, she was furious. She was like, you need to stop talking to boys. You can't trust boys. You know what I'm saying? They can't be trusted and. I was like, I understand that. I understand why you're feeling that way. I hear you. I was like, but all guys are not like that. I was like, you just happen to get into a bad situation. I was like, but that's not going to happen to everybody. But, you know, you couldn't tell her nothing because she was upset. She was feeling some type of way or whatever. So, time went by. I said about a couple of more weeks and everything. And uh, she was steady trying to convince me. To dump my boyfriend and everything. And I was like, mm, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to do that. You know, because he was a good dude. Well, at that time, he was a good dude. So, I was like, I'm, I'm not going to break up my boyfriend. And she, like, our friendship to me had changed. Because we weren't doing anything together anymore. We just rarely talked. So, she ended up. Staying down here. And I was like, uh, how long you gonna be down here? And she was like, she gonna just probably be down here for a year or two and then she gonna leave again. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was excited because I was like, okay, my best friend is gonna be living 
close to me now, and I know she's going through some things, but maybe we can do things like we used to do, go out to eat, make dances up, go to movies, you know what I mean, just have fun together. And it was one night, she was over at my house, and she tells me, she was like, you know, I really don't like men, and I, I want you to leave your man. I was like, why you keep wanting me to leave my boyfriend? And she was like, because I want us to be together. I was like, what you mean, want us to be together? She was like, I'm always the happiest when I'm around you. She said, when I'm not around you, I'm real sad, and you make me feel so good. And she was like, you're, you're my best friend. And she was like, we need to be in a relationship together. We need to just go ahead and be girlfriends. And I'm like, so you're gay now? And she was like, no, I'm not gay. I just want to be with you. I'm like, well, you're a female, and I'm a female, so that would make you gay. And she was like, well, if that's what you want to call me, I'll be gay. And I was like... Mm, I was like, I was like, we we we're not family relationship. Like, we could be friends. Cause I did. She's a really good friend, you guys. I was like, I do want us to be friends, but I don't want to be gay. I said, like, you can be gay and I still be your friend, but I don't want to be in a relationship with you. So she was like, okay. She said, but my feelings are always gonna be the same for you. She said, I'm always gonna want to be with you. So I was like, you're done with dudes completely. She was like, yes, I'm so done with dudes. So. A couple of months go by, you guys, and come to find out she had got pregnant by that dude. And they end up going to court and everything. And uh, she had the baby. She had a beautiful baby girl. And I mean, I'm not sad that she had a, a baby, but I'm, I'm sad of the way it happened. And her family was so upset because my friend, the doctors had told her that she would never have a child. They told her that it's not possible for her to have a child. They told her that uh, if she was to get pregnant, that the baby would kill her because she uh, had so many things wrong with her body. So her family, they was upset about that, too, because there was a possibility that she was going to die during the pregnancy or whatever. But, you know, we prayed, and God made a way for her to be able to carry her child. And uh, she didn't carry her full term, you know what I'm saying, they had to take the baby out because if the baby got too big, it would kill her. So they took the baby out, and the baby survived. She survived. So all good. So time has went by. Her baby's, you know, getting older. She's getting older. We're getting older. We're still friends. We just not friends like we used to be. We talk. Uh, I said we talk every two, three months, you guys. We don't, and when we talk, it's only through text. And it's like, hey, how you doing? Just make sure everybody's still alive. And... Sometimes we would see each other during the holidays. So, let's fast forward. Let's rewind. So, I got a relationship. A serious relationship this time with a dude. And it just happened to be with my uh, husband, the guy I'm married to now. Me and him had got back together. And I told her, I was like, look, I'm in a serious relationship. And we're going to get married. Y'all, when I tell you she was hot, she was mad. Because her... Her whole life is different now at this point. She, she's not into boys. She's into girls. And she's the, in her relationship, she's the dude. And I didn't understand that. I was like, why would you want to, you know, if you're gay, fine. I said, but what made you want to be the boy of the relationship? And she was just like, she just wants to be the boy. I was like, okay. Because I figured with her being boy crazy that she would be the girl of the relationship, the gay relationship. But no, she wants to be the boy and all that good stuff. But when she found out that I was in a serious relationship, and I was thinking about marriage, y'all. She had stopped talking to me for for a while. And uh, of course, I was cool with her family, so I would still see her family and everything. And then when I invited her to the wedding, she didn't come to the wedding. But after we were married and she met my husband, she was like, okay, he's cool. He seemed like he's not going to hurt you and everything. And they're, they're cool now. They're friends and everything. And so now she... uh. I mean, we're we're best friends, but we only talk, like I said, every couple of months. Her and my husband, whatever she, uh, cause she lives here now, you guys. She, her and her daughter live here now. So, whenever her and my husband see each other, you know, they speak to each other, hey, how you doing, everything. But that's it. You know, what I'm saying it. They ain't ha ha and kick in together, which is good. I don't want them to be anyways. But uh, you know, I still love her like a best friend. Anything she wants and needs, I do it for her. Uh, if her daughter needs something, I'm there for her. But you guys, what do you think? Do you think that I should stay close friends with her? Do you think I should have been keeping the friendship going with her? Do you think I should have left her alone when she tried to sleep with my boyfriend? Do you think I should have left her alone when she 
tried to hook up with me, think she left alone when she wasn't getting along with my husband. Did she agree with me being my husband? I mean, what do you guys think? Did I do the right thing? Am I being a good friend? Am I being a horrible friend? Is she being a good friend? I mean, you guys, let me know your thoughts. Comment below. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. You gonna come tell them bye? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what the chat's doing right now. She's up here trying to put my do rag on her brother. Tell them bye. Bye. Tell them talk to you bye. later. Bye. Say see you later. Bye. Say thank you for watching. Bye. Y'all see how she just be doing me, y'all? Bye. 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 You. See you later. Tell them talk to you later. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching.